Welcome to Season 3, Cultural Cooking with Suzy Q. Let's welcome my first guest, Sarah Barat from the Cheese Bar. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Susie. How, How are you today? Good. What are we going to do today? So today what I've done is I've brought a small selection of sheep, goat, dairy cow, and water okay. buffalo milk products, okay. um, all Canadian produced. Okay. And I brought a range of soft, semi-soft, mm -hmm. um, and firm and aged cheeses as uh -huh. well as a blue. Uh -huh. Because I find when we make a platter, we want to have a variety. On our, our regular boards is uh -huh. we offer a selection of fresh fruit okay. um, and then pickled veggies. Um, so fresh fruits, we try and mix it up with colors and mm -hmm. textures. Mm -hmm. um, so we like to both leave some strawberries whole and okay. cut. Um, fresh golden berries. Um, golden berry, okay. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. So a nice super fruit. They add a beautiful punch mm -hmm. of color. Mm -hmm. um, but they're also very high in antioxidants. Yes. Uh, a bit of chocolate, of course, a some dark bit, chocolate, yeah. some cherries, raspberries, grapes. Um, when berries are in season, of course, okay. we have plenty in Essex County to be okay. able to, to choose from. And our asparagus, our pickled turnips, and our gherkins are all from Lakeside Pickles, okay. our Lakeside Packing, sorry. So this is the Buffalo Bliss, okay. and it's a water buffalo milk base, surface uh -huh. ripened cheese, okay. uh, made in Woodstock. Mm -hmm. And so this here is 100% grass fed. Second, we'll do the hot chili Havarti. Hot chili, is that a spicy? A it has a bit nice of? little nice. bite. Okay. Yeah. I don't want it too thick or okay. too thin. So I've just sliced off a nice little piece here. Okay. And what I like to do when I'm making my platters is that I like them in smaller pieces, mm -hmm. but small enough, and you can kind of get an idea here, we're mm -hmm. gonna do this sort of cut, the triangles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm cutting corner to corner okay. on both sides and then through the center. That's interesting because I, you know what, I, you know I'm Chinese. Yeah. Now what I like to do when I'm arranging it is uh -huh. rather than people, gr if they were all laying the same way, okay. I like to, to go different opposite. way. Opposite. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So when people are grabbing it, they're only taking one at a time. They're not okay. touching every piece. So that's what I like to do. Okay. And then that's if I run out of room, watch your wire. Yeah. I'm going to trade you spots. Okay. So then I've just kind of put a few like that as well, but you can sort of cross them Beautiful. over. Okay. Yeah. And so that's that guy. And now we're going to do a bit of extra old cheddar. Now this one cheddar. I've actually pre-cut. And beautiful. this is from Prince Edward Island. Okay. So the stronger the cheese, okay. the smaller the piece you need. Okay. Right. Um, so I don't, these aren't very big cubes. Little, little cubes. Yeah. Okay. And then I just kind of put them in a cluster together. Okay. And that's all we're doing with this guy. Now this here, I love it with mustard. Cheddar Not cheese okay. and grain mustard. Uh -huh. um, so I've brought a bit here, but so I brought a Canadian maple mm -hmm. today. So we can mm -hmm. certainly try that with a bit of okay. extra old cheddar if you want. And I say, well, the drier the cheese, mm -hmm. the more you want to look for an accompaniment with yeah. moisture. Right. And the, the more moist the cheese is, the more apt you want to go for your nuts and your dried fruits. Right, right. Because you'll create that natural balance on the palate. You're so knowledgeable. Hey, I'm, I'm learning. Right. This is called goat's picnic. Oh, so goat a lot of customers picnic. come in and actually okay. think that it's a bocconcini, mm -hmm. um, it's but not. it's actually a fresh goat's cheese. Okay. And then pop it in here. So this is an easy fix, but you could always Excellent. take a fresh goat's cheese mm. yourself, roll them into little balls, um, and marinate them with just about anything you'd like. Mm -hmm. So we have That's a bit one. of goat, mm -hmm. we have some water buffalo, mm -hmm. the extra old cheddar is a dairy cow's mm -hmm. milk base. Mm -hmm. This guy here, your hot chili, was also a goat, so I thought I'd bring some sheep as well. Ah, uh, cool. Bun yeah. So this cheese mm -hmm. is actually from Northern Ontario, okay. um, just outside of Ottawa region. Mm -hmm. It's uh, produced by Back 40 Artisan yes. Cheese and it's fire roasted. Oh, so they so actually take actually this cheese mm -hmm. and they form it mm -hmm. and before they age it, they put it on a, a grate and they okay. actually roast it. So this here, I'm just going to leave it like that because I find that that's so beautiful that you want to see that it's on the, the board. Art. So when you bring it home, you can cut it yourself or just, like, you know, take exactly. a small Exactly, and piece. take small pieces mm. at a time. Celtic this blue. So Celtic blue. Is blue cheese. Cold, uh, just blue cheese. Yeah, okay. and this is from Lancaster, Ontario. Okay. It's made by Glengarry Fine Cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, I prefer to use the wire because this might crumble a bit. So if you see, if you were to take it, ah, it'll just kind of, so if do. you want to use it on a salad, Okay. This would be great. Great to put on the salad. Absolutely. Okay. Voila, voila, this voila. This is good. A salty. It has a oh, salt flavor. This is a surface ripened goat's cheese called Pagua. Pagua. Made by the northernmost cheese producer mm -hmm. in Ontario. 
So you put there too. Voila. Look at that. Beautiful. And then we'll just kind of intermix a bit of meat in there. Ah. And finish it off. Add a bit of baguette and crackers. That's and it. And we'll be all set. Yeah.